One of the best parts about farming in the northern part of the country is it gets really cold. No, <laughs> I know, not for human beings is this good, but it's awesome for our soil. We want to talk today about the freeze-thaw activity and the benefit to agriculture. You're right, Brian. Freezing temperatures are pretty cool. When you think about soils, soils are not just dirt. They're actually comprised of air and water and dirt. And that water portion is what we're really concerned about out on the farm. For water, it actually contracts uh, as it goes down in temperature until it gets to about four degrees Celsius. Then it starts to expand and after freezing, it expands by another 9%. And it's that expansion of frozen water that we're concerned about today. All right, so farmers often talk about this freeze-thaw activity in soil and the main reason why is to break up compaction. Now to some degree it can do that and we'll talk a little more about that but first I guess I just wanted to talk about the big benefit that I see with freezing temperatures that is it kills some of the pests that are in our field. For example diseases a lot of them can't survive really cold temperatures. Bugs can't survive really cold temperatures. And even for that matter, weeds, we're, we're at least going to kill some of the tough weeds that we have on the farm because they can't handle super cold temperatures. Or at least if they were damaged in the fall, oh, they get finished off. They get winter kill, as we call it, because of those cold temperatures. So a lot of benefits just from the agronomic side. But let's talk also about that compaction with the freeze thaw. When soil gets smashed together and compacted, like say underneath where a tractor tire ran, uh, farmers are often concerned about how do I deal with that compaction layer? Do I need to do tillage or will something else help me to break the compaction up? When we look at this freeze thaw effect, the expansion of that water once it freezes is a big deal because the water particles that get right in there with that compacted soil can help to break up some compaction. Now when we look at compaction that is vertical and it's a tire pressed down and, and there's a vertical layer of compaction, when that compacted soil expands out, eventually when it thaws back out and falls down, you can have some breakup of compaction. But it's the horizontal compaction across that really has a tough time. When you get water expansion and it lifts it up, Eventually, when that soil starts to thaw back out, it just settles right back the way it was. So we don't get a significant amount of compaction breakdown from the freeze-thaw effect. All right, so the freeze-thaw effect, as a farmer, I love it. I think it's great. As a human being, I don't like being out in that cold weather, but I just understand when I do get those really cold temps, especially when I have open ground with no snow cover so that freeze can get way down deep into the soil, that's a really good thing for me and for my crops. One other thing that's good for crops is knocking out our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to do it coming up later in the show. <music> 